Thank you very much. First off, I want to say it's great to be in this crowd. I want to thank Angela. I want to thank Nancy uh, and Peachtree City, Fayette County, and all of District 3. I'm Jared Craig. I'm the Vice President of Veterans for America First, also known as Veterans for Trump. Now, who we are, we have been fighting in the trenches since 2015, and we are comprised of veterans, combat veterans, first responders, concerned citizens, and legal professionals like myself. I'm an advocate for the veterans. I ran for U.S. Congress, and I was advocating for veterans' rights. We're promoting veterans to become active in your communities, run for office, support candidates. That's who we are. We're comprised of many people across the entire United States. Now, what we do, our focus is to educate the public as to who the candidates are, which candidates are America first minded, who are going to vote for the America first agenda, and that it matters from the top, from the President of the United States, all the way down ticket. So what we've been doing is doing films. One of the most important things we can do is put out content and constantly inform the public as what's going on. We have focused on uh, the issue of weaponization of the judicial system with the film Fall of Deceit. We have the Border Invasion, an American Crisis documentary that was released in March that is on the border issue where we went and exposed what was going on in Eagle Pass, Texas last November. And most recently, we have put out the documentary, The History of Veterans for America First, The Movement. You can see all of these videos on vfaf.us. We're also on the ground game. We're working with Trump Force 47. I'm personally door knocking. I'm even taking my kids with me. They've enjoyed it. Um, but we're doing so many things. We've got documentaries. We're doing social media. We have a website. We're promoting the America First agenda as much as we can. So when we get to November 5th, we know that we did everything we could to get President Donald J. Trump and other candidates like Brian Jack in office to save our country. We know that if we get President Trump in office and we don't elect down-ticket Republicans, he won't be able to get things done as well as if we put people in place that are also America First that will vote with President Trump. Now, lastly, why do we do what we do? It's because we are Americans. We value that citizenship. We know what our veterans have fought for. And we're asking for the people, the veterans, to fight for what you've already fought for and to remind the veterans that the oath that you took is still active. And that should drive the patriotic efforts to present a more conservative voting base. So I have children. I'm fighting for my children's future. I'm fighting for my children's children's future. And we're fighting full speed ahead for so long as we can, for so long as the United States is worth it. And I think that we see the Biden administration and the potential Kamala Harris uh, Waltz, I hate to even say administration, they're going to ruin our country. And if we don't step up now and get out and exercise the politics of the front porch, don't let your liberal who lives in your house go unchecked. If you have family members, talk to them. If you have neighbors, talk to them. If they don't agree with you, force them to explain themselves. They can't do it. Tell them, single issue voting is lazy. We have an agenda that works to have a functional constitutional republic. And we know that we have the majority if we show up and vote. Brian Jack explained the numbers. We have a outrageous number of voters who don't show up at primaries, at runoffs, and now the general election. We can impact this vote by merely finding like-minded people and turning those on the fence our direction because we want our country to exist and we're fighting against an erosive force of destruction. If we simply explain to our neighbors, our friends, and our family what we're doing, why we're doing it, and how we're going to accomplish that, that's a whole heck of a lot more than they're getting from the Harris campaign. Um, we have no idea how anyone could vote for that agenda. So I ask you to follow us on social media. Our X handle is VFAF War Room. Please check us out on that and follow us. Follow us on Facebook. Our website, once again, is VFAF.us. And if you feel inclined to join our ranks and to now join the Trump Force 47, 
also go on and sign up with TrumpForce47.com. So thank you for having me speak. Uh, it's hard to follow Doug and Brian. They're such great speakers, but I, I, I thank you for having me out, and we're going to keep fighting all the way through November 5th. Thank you very much.